So we're supposed to find critical numbers on number 10, which means we're going to use the first derivative, and we're supposed to know that critical numbers occur where the first derivative equals zero or where the first derivative is undefined. So we're going to find those critical numbers first. Now, I would not do this problem doing it this way because I would use the first derivative test when I do this one. Some of you guys need to get here a little earlier. I still got people coming in and we're supposed to already be going. So try to get here on time so that uh, we get through this faster. So when I have a monomial, just like the first, we were doing these at first, I would break this up and put the monomial under each term and then simplify this to x minus x to the negative one power because this one reduces, this doesn't, but I can bring that up. So then that makes doing the derivative of this much faster than doing quotient rule. If you did quotient rule, it would be fine. It's the same answer, but I think it's faster to do just straight up power rules by I rewrite it like this. So the derivative of x is one and the derivative of negative x to negative one, I got to take negative one times negative one and get positive one. And then I subtract one from the power and I get uh, x to the negative two power. And I'm going to move that down here to keep it uh, to uh, get rid of the negative exponent. Then what I'm going to do before I find my critical numbers is I like getting a common denominator. So I'm going to multiply this by x squared over x squared, which is going to give me the equation x squared plus one all over x squared. Okay, so I'm supposed to find critical numbers. So f prime of x equals zero is one place where there are critical numbers. So you take the top and you set it equal to zero and solve. Now I can tell right now, no matter what I square, it's gonna be zero or a positive plus one. There is nowhere this is going to cross zero. So I get none for this. Now, if I don't realize that when I see it, I can do my algebra and I can get that it's a positive negative square root of negative one, which tells me it's imaginary, which also tells me none. I get no critical numbers from the numerator. Now, you, if you're good enough to see that that will never be zero, then you don't have to do these two steps and you can get none right away. And then where f prime of x is undefined, that's going to be where the denominator equals zero. So x equals zero is my critical number. That is my only critical number. Now we have a problem. We have a problem because I want to know, is this a max or a min? Well, the problem is right here in that you have x in your denominator. So if I were trying to find if this was a max or a min and I plugged in f of zero, because I need a, I, I would like the, the actual max value, I got zero in my denominator, which is undefined. So what that tells me is, this is not going to be a critical number either. So what that tells me is this graph does not have a critical number. So there's no max or min because there's no critical numbers to find them. So let me show you what that would look like on, a, on the calculator. So I'm going to type that original problem there in the calculator and graph it and show you there is no max or min. So let's see, we got x squared minus 1 on top and on the bottom we got x. So if we look at this, oh, I didn't put, let me uh, put the picture of the graph up for you real quick. Okay, let me zoom in a little bit. So there's the equation we got. Come on, machine. Focusing for some reason. That is awesome. Let's see. There we go. Oh, I left the minus one off the top. Glad we got that. I need x squared minus one on top. Okay, and then I'm going to hit graph. Oops, I don't want it. I want to graph more of it than that. So let me make my window back to negative 10. negative 10 to 10 and grab it. So here comes the uh, graph of the function. Well, look at that. 
there's my graph. So if you look, we're concave up the entire way on the left side, concave down the entire way on the, left, the right side. There are no max or mins there. There are none. So we could not find them. Do you need me? Trying. All right. Does anybody else have any problems you guys want to see off any of this stuff? Anybody got anything else you want to see? All right, there's 16 of you. I want to hear I'm good before we get off here, so I know you're all good. So you put down, chat me good. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. I got 12. Where are the other four? There's 13, 14. Should have two more. One, two. Oh, we do have all 16. My bad. I missed one when I, or two when I was counting. All right, so I guess we'll call it a day and I will see you tomorrow. Good luck on your quiz and uh, get all your work uploaded on canvas so i can get your grades updated be safe out there and i will see you all tomorrow take care